What's up YouTube this is Mohammad Badruddja hope you all are doing well and today we are going to solve lab number 4 from the JWT attack module this lab is all about uh, injecting the parameters in the JWT token in the header part right so before going to that lab this warning or disclaimer as always for you this video and its contents are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal act that's been said let's jump to the lab uh, which kind of parameters we we can inject in the header part so up to now what we have seen that uh, header part consists of uh, one parameter which is the algorithm right so if i go up um this is the payload section so if i just click this copy come to the burp suite and if i decode that so uh, decode as base 64 so you can see there are two parameters first one is kid and the second one is algorithm so this is the most important part and this is the mandatory part of the headers even if you don't have anything else uh, the jwt token can be consist but without this parameter of the header jwt token cannot be consist fine so there are more parameters which uh, jwt header consists of and those parameters are like jwk which is json web key jku which is json web key set url and the kid jwk stands for json web key and it provides an embedded json object representing the key so we will see that we can see that here so this is the jwk json object and it contains kty e kid and n fine and this is the um, normal header even if you do not have jwk so the header can be uh, completed without jwk but in some cases you need or um, some applications need jwk according to the jws specification only algorithm uh, header parameter is mandatory in practice however jwt headers also known as jose header often contains several other parameters the following one of the particular interest of attackers so for attackers these three parameters are uh, crucial okay uh, and we will see in a minute why so as you can see these user controllable para parameters each tell the recipient server which key to use when verifying the signature in this section you will learn how to exploit these to inject modified jwt signed using your own arbitrary key rather than the server secret so there are two parts of uh, header parameter injection one is we can inject the self signed jwt via jwk and another one is inject self signed jwt via jku and i will let you know the difference between these two now suppose the if the server has if the server has not only one key if the server has many keys and simultaneously server uh, is handling many requests for different different purposes so maybe for different purpose or for different authorization it's using different keys and all those keys may be uh, somewhere else on another server so at that instant the token uses jku right so let's see but in this lab we will see injecting self-signed jwt via jwk parameter so i already described this one and you need to understand symmetric uh, and asymmetric algorithms so if you click on this link come here so they explained very well uh, difference between symmetric versus asymmetric algorithm so symmetric algorithm basically contains only one key and the server signed the token and verify the token only with the uh, only with one key from only one key and that's why this secret key must kept very very secret with the server because once this secret key is exposed then the attacker can 
um, sign and verify any token right um, and the algorithm uh, that supports the symmetric uh, algorithm that is like hmac sha 256 and if we talk about the asymmetric algorithms so asymmetric algorithms are like rsa sha 256 and in asymmetric algorithm there are two key used by the server one is public key and one is private key so private key uh, server kept the private key to sign the token and the public key is used to uh, verify the token and the private key must kept secret with the server but the public key can be distributed uh, to anybody so that they can verify the signature of token issued by the server right so that's been said let's jump to the lab directly and the lab is jwt authentication bypass via jwk header injection and this lab uses a jwt based mechanism for handling sessions the server supports the jwk parameter so this time we will see uh, a difference in the header okay instead of only three or two parameters we will see jwk parameter also in the header so this is some this is sometime used to embed the correct verification key directly in the token however it fails to check whether the provided key came from a trusted source or not so to solve the lab uh, we have to modify and sign the jwt that gives us access to the admin panel and to solve the lab we need to delete the carlos account and the lab is provided as a valid credential so without wasting time um, I am going to enable the bug proxy on my browser, go to my account and here I am going to log in W-I-E-N-E-R Wiener and the password is Peter. Uh, come on W-I-E-N-E-R Wiener and the password is Peter. Okay, so we are logged in. Now um, if we go to the burp so it and go to the http history you can see we have assigned a jwt token and from now any request we made our request always contains a jwt token as cookie fine so now um, let's try to access the admin panel and we will see we can access or not so slash admin hit enter and as you can see admin interface only available if logged in as an administrator go back to the burp suite this is the request for the admin and as you can see 401 unauthorized we are going to uh, send this request to the repeater and send it again so the same result 401 unauthorized we will solve this lab by following few steps the first one is um, we will generate the rsa key fine then we will um, alter the username in the payload of jwt fine and then finally we will sign the token with um, newly generated rsa key fine so first of all we need to generate the rsa key so go to the burp suite and we need to use this plugin jwt editor keys uh, i already already generated one so i'm going to delete that now here there is new symmetric key and new rsa key so we need to generate the rsa key okay but before going to generate the rsa key we want to see what's inside the jwt so go to the repeater and just click the header part and go to the inspector so if you go to the inspector you will see there is only kid and the algorithm and the algorithm it uses is rsa sha 256 fine now what we need to do here we need to inject a 
जे डब्ल्यू के पैरामीटर फाइन एंड दैट विल बी द होल जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट दैट कंटेन्स फ्यू पैरामीटर्स वी विल सी दैट इन अ मिनट सो ओके वेर वी आर वी आर हेयर सो जनरेट न्यू आर एस ए की एंड जनरेट नाउ द की आर एस ए की फाइन एंड क्लिक ओके सो एज यू कैन सी हेयर दैट की हैव मैनी मैनी पैरामीटर्स फाइन सो क्लिक ओके एंड हेयर एज यू कैन सी वी हैव द की नाउ द सेकेंड स्टेप इज अल्टर द यूजर नेम इन द पे लोड सो नाउ गो बैक टू द रिपीटर एंड फ्रॉम हेयर सेलेक्ट एक्सटेंशन चूज जे जेसन वेब टोकन एंड हेयर इन द सब्जेक्ट दिस आई एस एस मीन्स इशूड बाई पोर्ट स्विगर एंड सब्जेक्ट इज वीनर सो वी नीड टू चेंज इट टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड दिस इज द एपॉश टाइम फॉर एक्सपायरेशन टाइम ऑफ द टोकन नाउ वी चेंज सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम वीनर टू एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर फाइन द थर्ड स्टेप इज टू साइन द टोकन विद न्यूली जनरेटेड आर एस ए की द आर एस ए की विच वी जनरेटेड सो हेयर इन द लेफ्ट हैंड बॉटम कॉर्नर यू कैन सी देर इज वन बटन नेम्ड एज अटैक सो क्लिक ऑन इट एंड वी नीड टू एम्बेड जे डब्ल्यू के बिकॉज वॉट वी रीड अबाउट जे डब्ल्यू के आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वन मोर टाइम वेयर इज दैट या जे डब्ल्यू के सो प्रोवाइड्स एन एम्बेडेड जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट मीन्स वी नीड टू एम्बेड दैट सो द सेम थिंग इट्स डूइंग हेयर एम्बेड जे डब्ल्यू के एंड वी नीड टू चूज दिस एंड मेक श्योर द साइनिंग एल्गोरिदम इज आर एस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स बिकॉज अवर टोकन ऑल्सो कंटेन्स ऑल्सो यूजिंग आर एस टू फिफ्टी सिक्स एल्गोरिदम क्लिक ओके फाइन सो नाउ इफ यू सी द हेडर पार्ट सो द हेडर पार्ट कंटेन्स के आई डी दिस वॉज ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट बिफोर दिस वॉज ऑल्सो एग्जिस्ट बिफोर दिस वॉज ऑल्सो एग्जिस्ट बिफोर बट द न्यू थिंग विच इज एडेड टू अवर हेडर इज जे डब्ल्यू के एंड दिस कंटेन्स द होल जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट Uh, which contains k t y e k i d and n fine so if you want to verify click verify and as you can see the verification is successful for our jws click okay and just send the request so once we send the request you can see 200 okay and we should have access admin panel now you can see here admin panel so just right right click on the response and i am going to click on show response in browser copy that link go back to the browser and make sure web proxy is enable just paste that and hit enter and as you can see now we have access to admin panel and there are two users one is carlos and another one is wiener so we need to delete that um because we already alter the key here in this request so we are going to delete that user by following um by following this link so copy that and just paste it here because we already alter the key so we don't need now so if i click on header part you can see here this is the header part that contains um complete jwk object embedded already so now just send that and 302 found means it's redirecting and redirecting us to slash admin so follow the redirect and here as you can see congratulations you solved the lab and um user deleted successfully fine and now we have only wiener user so right click and show response in browser copy that url come here paste that and just hit enter and as you can see user deleted successfully and now only wiener user is there before carlos user was there too and congratulations we solved the lab so that's it for this video if you like the content please like subscribe and share see you in the next video bye